Welcome Kay Chapman. Hi. Hi. I am a proud British woman, but I love to hate the Queen. <laughs> Something you should know about British people, we love hating on royalty. They are so irrelevant, they are so outdated, and they're so expensive. And I just think we should treat the Queen now like we would treat a beloved old dog. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Imagine if you had a dog. Imagine if it just didn't look like it enjoyed life anymore. <laughs> if it was 93 years old, 93, and it was costing you 36 million pounds a year. <laughs> wouldn't you do the kind thing? <laughs> wouldn't you put it out its misery? Another thing to know about British people, never play Scrabble with a British person. <laughs> Oh, because we would never admit this, but God forbid that you guys know the Queen's English better than we do. <laughs> and uh, again, we wouldn't admit it, but we, we love in Scrabble to absolutely destroy others verbally in a cold, calm, and very calculated way. <laughs> That's asshole for 45 points. <laughs> now, I'm not just a terrible person. I, um, I have a wonderful partner um, who I love dearly. And, um, you know, we're in a serious relationship, but we just don't want to get married. Like, it is just, it's not necessary. It's a piece of paper and it's so expensive. But I still want the big fucking party that comes with getting married. Like, why is it we only have parties when people die or when people get married these days? Like, and I'm not gonna wait until I die to have that big party for me. So my non-wedding, it would be beautiful. I would have a cake 12 tiers high with a figurine of me and him on top dancing in a big pile of money. <laughs> <laughs> we would make a solemn commitment purely to continue having great sex for the rest of our lives in sickness and in health. <laughs> and at the very end of the ceremony, I would line up all of my married friends and throw a bouquet to predict who's going to get divorced next. <laughs> and I'll stop telling that joke when my friends stop getting divorced. <laughs> So um, my partner and I, we, we crossed the border recently, um, day trip to America, very nice, and we crossed the border on foot um, because we were worried there might be drugs that we'd forgotten about in the car, <laughs> like Canadian problems, am I right? Fuck. <laughs> crossed the border on foot, we make great Mexicans, and um, that terrible, sorry. Um, anyway, anyway, that's not the story. We cross the border, and um, very normal border crossing, up until I hear this noise, and it sounds like this. And I'm like, what's going on? And I hear, coco, coco, and I turn around, and a little confused baby pigeon has landed on my boyfriend's head. <laughs> and it starts making a nest. It starts, like, getting cozy like this. And, um, and he turns around, and he says to me, help me, like literally help me, and I'm useless. I'm just useless. I'm doubled over laughing. <laughs> All I managed to say is, hang on, give me a sec, I need to get my phone out. Let's take some photos here. All of the border control people, they come out of their office to see this hysterical woman and a man with a bird on his head, who presumably has just smuggled this through. And, um, <laughs> and I'm like, shit, I need clean immigration records. I'm going for PR. Um, <laughs> And, and to top it all off, then a load of Chinese tourists come over because they all want the bird on their head as well to take photos with for fucking Instagram. <laughs> it was beautiful. 
Um, <laughs> so don't ever cross the border with me. Um, talking of birds, I really love birds. You might see I have quite a few bird tattoos here. So I'm going to talk you through my tattoos. Because quite often people ask, what, what do your tattoos mean to you? And my tattoos, they, they do have a lot of meaning. I don't care if I end up looking like a slinky, incidentally. So um, <laughs> that's fine. I'll just go with that. Um, so I have um, a bar now uh, to symbolize the, the winter. Um, I, I have a robin, a bird I find very beautiful. Um, I have a British woodpecker here, lovely green woodpecker. It symbolizes beauty. And I have a blue tit, which uh, is a, a British summer bird. And I was explaining this to my, my best friend. And he said to me, Kay, what have you done? And I was like, dude, what are you talking about? And he says to me, you realize you have got a hooter, a red breast, a tit, and a fucking pecker. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of message are you trying to send? And that's why I'm not getting any more tattoos. Thank you so much, guys. You've been great. All right, give it up for Kate Chapman.